I'm going to give you a scenario, a quick one, and I want you to rate it on one to five on how bad it is. Okay. You meet a man, you mean he's he as tall as you want him to be, weight is perfect, he has a great career, relationship is great, religious man, if that's what you're into. But he got baby mama drama. That's a red flag. That's a good five. I've That's a good it. five. A good five. I actually put it to ten. So we're gonna get into this. We're gonna get into this episode. Dating red flags. And the, and the concept of this episode is going to be a free for all, okay? So I'm going to give you some rules of enra- rules of engagement, all right? We we're not going to be disrespectful. Everybody's going to eloquently um, uh, express themselves. And fuck and, that. <laughs> and some things that they believe about red flags and relationships, all right? And two, we're going to invite people in from the crowd, uh, whether it's the fellas or young ladies to come up and share their experiences with dating red flags. All right, so in, in, in black flow on the wall fashion, um, we're gonna introduce our guest to my far left. Sean, introduce yourself. Uh, <clears throat> Everybody quiet down, please. Check, check. How y'all doing, y'all good? Any birthdays out there? Happy birthday one time, it's all up. I go by the name of uh, Sean Henny. Uh, I do parties downtown Raleigh, sometimes in Durham. Uh, I do a lot of dope events. Um, I, I curated who I was based on black people not being able to do parties in white venues downtown. So my job was to infiltrate that and make sure my people could have a place to have a good time. So that's who I am. That's super dope. I'm happy to be here. Thank super y'all dope. so much. Super dope. I'm nervous than a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, my boy here to my left, CP Common Face. I'm pretty sure you all have seen him, spoke with him. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's shown some love some way, somehow. But uh, CP, introduce yourself. Yep, I'm uh, Colton Palmer. I'm uh, originally from Durham, Bull City. Uh, everybody knows I rep Durham to the fullest, but um, I went to uh, NC State, graduated from state. Um, so I'm gold team. That's, that's what we call ourselves, my unit. Um, but I have uh, Bedlam Vodka. I'm one of the owners of Bedlam Vodka, also one of the managing partners here at Living Room. So I'm, I'm excited to have Black Fly on the Wall do the, do the first live show here. And we appreciate so, the hospitality. Yeah, man. So I'm, I'm excited, ready to get rolling. Absolutely. So, Miss Jocelyn, you new to the you new to the uh, to the stage. So, uh, when it comes down to uh, dating red flags for you, let's talk about how, as a woman, how do you identify red flags when a man introduces himself to you? You start dating, and boom, that first red flag come out. So, I think okay. There you go. Mic check. Okay. I think there's so many um, different red flags that you can assess um, when meeting a guy. I think the number one red flag is, I hate to say this, but some men, like, they like the multiple women thing. Okay. And um, it's like they'll have you and then they'll have these other people that they're trying to talk to and trying to balance, like, all of them out at the same time. And it's really hard to balance multiple people, you is know? It, it is. Okay. It really is. Um, so I would say just be upfront. I would rather a man be upfront with me, like, hey, I'm trying to mingle or whatever, you know, instead of act a role that you're really not trying to fulfill. Okay. All so, right. yeah. Hey, Sean, what's your, what's your thoughts on that? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I am a red flag. <clears throat> <Cha-cha>. <laughs> <laughs> for sure um, I mean I don't know I've been in a situation where I've dated multiple women um, I've dated some of the women in the crowd honestly how y'all doing um, uh, just keeping it real I ain't, I ain't perfect <laughs> we need some more uh, send the listen. bartenders out man we need some more shots I ain't, I ain't perfect by any means alright quiet down quiet down quiet down quiet down, quiet down. <laughs> I mean, y'all put me up here. <laughs> uh, but I'm just being honest. I mean, I ain't perfect by any means, but I think it takes a lot. It's a union of both people, you know what I'm saying? We can be honest up front and say what we want, uh, but a lot of times we don't get what we want. So yeah. it's, it's easy to have options and make sure that you got a backup plan because if plan A don't work, then plan B for sure going to work. You feel me? <laughs> so that's just my idea on it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> nothing, nothing against, you know, even women. Y'all got multiple guys. We're on trip, you know what I'm saying? There's a thing where a man can have multiple women. We don't get called anything, but... 
women have multiple guys, we call y'all hoe, and I don't think that's fair. You know what I'm saying? I think it should be, you know, even across the board. It's a lot of independent women out here. They got a lot of more money than a lot of guys, and um, y'all y'all have that option of being in control of what y'all want and the things that y'all want to do. You dig what I'm saying? What's up, C? How you doing? Good. Yeah. So that's my take on that. Good. CP, what's your thoughts on that, man? Um, I mean, obviously that's a red flag if that's you know what you're looking for. Um, I think a lot of times we um. We're out there and we're dating and just casually dating and yeah. you know talking about to our friends what we want from somebody but not necessarily uh committed to that you know what i'm saying so then you run across you know dudes who are talking to multiple girls and girls who are talking to multiple guys because you're trying to feel you know who you think is going to be the best the best option for you so i think it's you know kind of being a you got to be intentional about it and you know who's intentional as soon as you meet them yeah. so that red flag is immediate Absolutely. In, in my book, you know what I'm saying? You, a lot of times I feel like, and for women and men, they will uh, see that this probably isn't the best move, but you want to mold that person into who you think they can become. So you keep messing with them, although you got that red flag already. Absolutely. So, so I- ignoring red flags, you know, and so, and I, I, I see your point of view when it comes down to the fellas dating multiple women. But I think also, too, it's important for women to understand men and it's important for men to understand women and kind of come to a common ground on that right and so if you if you are interested in a man and he's highly successful he he checks all the boxes there's a thousand other women that believe the same thing Mm -hmm. right and so what it happens is us in the dating world sometimes want to make things exclusive before they're exclusive and so like why play house if it's not truly your man why not just continue to date continue to get to know each other while he's still dating other women as long as he's um as long as he's with you when he's with you and giving you 100 percent of the time whenever he's with you and he's honest and upfront about his intentions like hey look i'm dating multiple men and women right now i came out of a relationship a year ago I'm, I'm finding myself i'm dating i'm being uh responsible with that i'm letting you know that and if you are okay with that we can continue doing our thing if not i understand Right. And I think the biggest thing is a lot of men aren't honest okay. and they're not upfront about what their intentions are. Uh, that's an, um, I, don't, and, I don't have anything against that. Yeah. I think I think honesty is key. Right. Yeah. But I think the fellas, sometimes they say, oh, I don't want to be honest because I don't want to miss out on this opportunity. Mm-hmm. But um, but you have to be able to risk it all that, and miss out on the opportunity. Right. <laughs> miss out on the girl that you currently see. Like, oh, I want her, whatever it may be. But if you all are not on the same wavelength when it comes to that, then that, that's when issues arise. Go ahead, Sean. No, I mean, there's no excuse to lie to anybody. Yeah. Right. Like, I, I feel like if you, if you come up with a lie, you try to figure out a way to lie, you're trying to get out of something or cover something that ain't, you know, you, you're normally yourself when you're with somebody you really like. You, you tend to be open and be more honest and I like this person a lot. But then you can go to the grocery store, a girl with a fat ass walk past, and you're like, damn, I could do the exact same thing with her. So the honesty is there. <laughs> the honesty is there. It's just how, how honest do you want to be? A lot of women ain't, ain't, I've dated women, and I've been honest, and I've, I've told them, I'm all, I'm all in. I want to be with you. I want to make this work. We just got to understand each other. But in the same time, we both had somebody else, or it was some underlining under that. So it's like the honesty could be there, but if you want to play, play. You know what I'm saying? Just be real about it and you know i don't know i could talk about this shit all day just like yeah. anybody else can no yeah. I, I think the most the, the one of the most common analogies that i use is that a lot of times when you applying for a new job everybody can quiet down in the crowd when you're applying for a new job you don't sometimes you don't apply just to one place yeah. so you're applying to multiple jobs and and the hope that you get the best job mm-hmm. right and then a lot of times if they offer you you would say you know what I got an offer from somewhere else or yes I am going on interviews right so the same way that you're honest in the interview process with an employer you can be honest in the interview process with a young lady so that's a key takeaway thank you Miss Jocelyn thank you for your time thank you thank you anybody else want to come up young ladies from the crowd want to come up thank you Sean I appreciate that um anybody want to come up on the crowd we have we have somebody in the crowd Come don't on be, up. Come on up. Don't Come be scared. Up. Come on up. You said it all. Yes. One. One. We, we'll let you come up after this young lady right here. 
All right, introduce yourself. Hi, I am Karis. I'm a middle school teacher here in Durham. Okay, all right, all right. Shout out to the educators nice. in the building. Nice, nice. All right, so we starting off with something fresh. Oh. All right. <laughs> Ladies, on the scale of one to five, with one being not so bad and five being real, real, real bad, I mean, you got to put it in the group chat with your homegirls. Y'all got to talk about it during the lunch break. <laughs> I'm going to give you a scenario, and I want you to tell me how bad of a red flag this is for you, all right? So a man approaches you, you all hype, you get your hair done, nails done, everything. You're going out on a date, everything about to be good. And he get to the table and he say, damn, I left my wallet at home. <laughs> Let me tell That's you. That's a red flag? What if he really left his wallet? It is crimson, it is glaring, it is flashing. I'm in the group text like, man, he forgot He forgot his wallet. Like, so it, it, On the scale of one to five, or five. one, that's a five? Five. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta say something. Five. Hey, no, can I, I, I just, I, I just gotta say this. Players fuck up. If I left my, if I left my wallet, but, no, Everybody before, quiet down a little bit, quiet down a little bit. Before you throw the flag on that one. Okay. There's another question you can ask. You got, there's Cash App, Apple Pay. There's everything you can go. check on first. There we go. Before you, you throw them out. Come on, man. I, City Boys hey, up. City Boys up. Right. No, you're absolutely right. City Boys up, man. City Boys you're up. You're absolutely man. right. Look, look, City Boys look, look. up. What, why would that, that would be a red flag if he didn't move forward. But if he then but finds he a solution, there. you should be like, hmm. He found a solution to a problem very quickly. And I think that's why quickly. the initial okay. statement is a red flag. But if he says, but don't worry about it. I got my, like, I got Apple Pay or something. You'd be like, okay, cool. Okay, you good. But if he stops at, oh, I But you can't delete wallet. that message in the group chat, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> still judge him. I mean, y'all still going to, you can still go judge him. No, if he finds hey. a solution, we would not. We'd okay. Like, we might still send the text message. Like, he forgot his wallet, but he figured it out. Okay. But All right. That's solid. It won't be like, but he forgot his wallet and had me out here paying. Okay. All right, nice. <laughs> hey, no, but. Just, just speaking to the group chat, I just gotta, I just want to throw this out there because I think everybody quiet the, down a little bit. The fellas via group chat, this wouldn't come up as quickly, but I think for a lot of times for the ladies, when you you're throwing out red flags that are really your friends' red flags and not your true red flags, mm. that's when it becomes an issue. <laughs> hey. I, expand, expound on that a little bit, CP. So I, uh, yeah. take, take him to church. <clears throat> take him to church. Take him to church, CP. Take so, him to church, CP. <laughs> this might come out. <laughs> now, but um, to 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 expand to expand on that, you know, and expand upon that, everybody's relationships are unique. Everybody's you know way they want to be in a relationship is going to be unique. But we oftentimes or trying to emulate either what we see via social media, what your friends say they're cool with dealing with, how their relationship should go, and we're worried about our friends' opinions, our parents' opinions, and not making decisions for ourselves. Okay. So, so, so and, and my, and my, my pops call that living an observational reality. Oh, I like that. Ooh, Shout out to dad. <laughs> hey, my pops in the back right here with the shades on. You see where we get it from. <laughs> we call that an observational reality. Now, I do like that. I like that. I'm going to adopt that. No, that's good. That's reality. And I do think the social media thing is one thing. But I don't necessarily agree with the statement that I'm putting my red flags on my friend. Or like I'm taking their red flags and making them mine. Because I typically put my stuff in my group chats. And I have friends who will tell me, like, Karis, you're doing the most. Or like, Karis, you're tripping. So I'm looking okay. to friend. get that balance on perspective. Good friend. But I will also say my red flags are not the same as everybody else's. Mm -hmm. Things that don't sit right with me may sit well with other people cool. or like things you can deal with like they may be a light orange to you where to me they're like a bright ruby a you know what I'm yeah, a little, a little pump <laughs> so it's all about what you can deal with but i don't think it's that i don't think it's we're adopting our friends red flags it's more so we're looking for that balance because sometimes i know i know i might be doing the most i might start off with am i tripping and then they'll be like girl yes but well, you gotta ask yourself like, that nine times mm -hmm. out of ten you are but you know there you just go. need to know yeah, you gotta have friends that check you. That's key. Mm -hmm. I appreciate your time. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Get clap it up for her. All right, we gonna switch it up. I, I need one of the fellas to pull up on me right now. Demarcus, come on, man. 
Put I, up I on actually me like D. the women's perspective. Put up on I'm me, cool D. Put up on me, D. Come on, Demarcus. City boys up one on this one. Believe that. City boys up one thousand. <laughs> Good. All right, Demarcus, here. introduce yourself real quick, man. Uh, Mike, say we good. All right. Yeah, this is this is Not a familiar Demar. face. Now, what's going on? I'm Demarcus, uh, Far City native, soldier, <laughs> entrepreneur. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up, lie? What's good? What's what popping? All right, me, bro. All right, Demarcus. What's up? You interested in a young lady? You you scrolling on social media because you know that's what we use to that's our background check in a way you know you see how somebody carries themselves and what they're involved in and whatever it may be but she has her cash app name in her bio red flag red flag <laughs> i'm throwing it out I, I'm red flag, flag. <laughs> wow bro wow bro <laughs> red flag you gotta support, you know. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm supporting. I'm clicking the link. I'm buying some. Why? Why is that a red flag, Demarcus? <laughs> Quiet down a little bit. <laughs> All right, begging the stallion. Um, that's that's a red flag for one. That's not my sport, but you know, tricking it. You know, it's it's a place for all of that, but the cash app in the bio. That's a red That's flag. A red flag. On a scale of one to five, with five being the worst. A six. Woo! Okay. Okay. That's an automatic red flag for one. I got another one for you before you go. You you know, you're dating a young lady for a few you know, for maybe a, a month and a half, two months, three months, whatever it may be. And uh you all are, you know, you all are adults and you all are pursuing that avenue of a, a sexual relationship, and she says, I usually don't do this, but um, <laughs> What's the red flag on that with the marks? They all do it. It's okay. <laughs> on a scale of one to five, what you rating that, Demarcus? That's a five. Somebody say a five. Seven. A seven. It, it, that's. I mean, hey, it, it, okay. Share your perspective I mean, on that. Share your perspective on that. It, it, that may. That's not really a red flag. Okay. Why not? Because you might be that guy. Yeah. There you go. True. You might. Hey, you might be that guy that you know you. She may not have done this before. Okay. But okay. she may do this with you. Like you've been here before, but you ain't never been with me, so you ain't never been. Got you. Got you. That, well, may, cool. be the re that may be the reason why. Okay. All right. I appreciate but, you, bro. Uh, Clap hey. it up for Demarcus. You know. All right, we got time for one more young lady. Let's one more young lady. Right, come on up. Come on up. Come on up. Clap it up for her, everybody. Fun, clap it up for her, clap it up for her, clap it up for her. <laughs> Alright, introduce yourself. Introduce yourself. Hello, my name is Everybody Roslyn. quiet down, young lady is talking. <laughs> Hello, my name is Roslyn. Roslyn, where you from? I'm from Boston, been okay. living in Durham since 2017. Alright, what do you do? I'm a project manager, and I'm actually am starting a new job at the end of the month. Right, congratulations. <laughs> congratulations. Congrats. So, I'm going to give you a scenario, a quick one, and I want you to rate it on one to five on how bad it is. Okay. You meet a man, you mean he's, he's as tall as you want him to be, weight is perfect, he has a great career, relationship is great, religious man, if that's what you're into. But he got baby mama drama. That's a red flag. That's a good five. I've That's a good five. A good five. I actually put it to a ten. But why? Because one, you're entering a situation where the kids are not in peace. And when the children are not in peace, it's gonna cause more disturbance in the relationship. Okay. So you want to enter a relationship if you are open to dating like a single mother, a single father, so on. You wanna enter it where there's co parenting health. Okay. Like healthy. Mm -hmm. That's key. That's so key. it's not a knock on baby mama, baby daddy, none of that. It's just, I, if I'm entering this situation, I want it to be the most peaceful. I want the children to be at peace, and I want us to co-parent 
in peace, you know, because it's already a complicated situation. So it's not a red flag that he has a child. It's about the relationship with the mother. If, if you're into that, I know for some people, like... They've had past issues in the past. And, yeah, then they're like, nah, that's not for me anymore. But, you know, if you're open to that, that's fine. But you want to enter it in a healthy situation. Cool. All right. Fellas, y'all want to expand on that? Y'all good? Uh, I mean, I, I'd say... In that, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that, that is tough to enter a situation with someone where the, the well, parenting isn't, you know, they have conflict and balance and they don't have balance there. But I would also that person could be the right person. Quiet for down you. a little bit, please. Yes, yeah, so I would say that person could be the right person for you. So I would want to find out why they have conflict. If it's conflict, bec- you know, they could have had that kid when they were 18, 19, 20 mm-hmm. years old. You met somebody and. You know, you were younger. Things and, just and, didn't work out. Yeah, yeah it just didn't work out. And that person may be the issue. Now, <clears throat> excuse me. Now, if I get in a situation where or see a situation where I can see that the person I'm considering dating is not doing what I would consider a parent should be doing or they are causing the conflict in the parenting, then it's immediate red flag. I'm out of there. Mm-hmm. I see that this person, it, they're the issue. Because mm-hmm. you, you, may, you may genuinely miss out on your blessing absolutely. in a person, man or woman. Uh, by eliminate immediately eliminating somebody just because they have a child, yeah. right? Because like then you're judging somebody the based on their decisions that they've made in the past, and that's key. That's key. Yeah, thank you, for, thank you for coming up. Thank you. Clap it up for her, man. <laughs> One more fella. One more fella. No, no, Duke. One more fella. We gotta get a show, show the fella some love. Uh, Duke, we you need some mine. You wanna come up? Come on up. It's up to you. Come on. I love it. Yeah. She won't come. Put the hookah down, though. Don't bring a hookah. Don't drag it with you now. <laughs> this is fun. This, this is the last one, and we're going to go into this day party. I love your pants, too. All right, introduce yourself. Hello. My name is uh, Taylor. I am originally from Indiana, but I moved here. Uh, for college, NCCU, Eagle Proud. Okay. Eagle Proud. Yes. Love North Carolina and never left. So, right, love, and, nice. Um, as a job, is that a question? Yeah. My job, I'm a project manager in biomedical engineering. Nice. 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 <laughs> that coin. So I, I have, I have a, I have an interesting one for you. I'm, I'm curious what you think about this. You're on the first, you're on the first date with a man. You don't know anything about him. Right. You asked him his profession, and he says, I'm an entrepreneur. I'm both Do you judge him immediately? Yeah. Is it a red flag to you? I mean, no. Like, you want somebody to have the energy that you have. So as long as his energy is in the entrepreneur field is on my level, cool. Okay. We, can work and ma- we can make it work. I mean... You just, that, that's where the energy love need to match. I feel like people nowadays miss out on, or just the generation nowadays miss out on empathy. We don't really understand each other. So if I'm committing to a partnership relationship with you, we need to understand each other and figure out how we gonna make this work. If your passion is, you know, running your own business, doing whatever you wanna do, cool. I'm gonna support that. Same way you need to support me. Okay, cool. So. Fellas, y'all got anything on that? I'm ready to party and get lit. You crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got, CP, you got something on that? Uh, I mean, I, I think if, you know, the entrepreneur endeavor, if, if they're, you know, if they're focused, they're grinding, shit, that could be a great thing for you all's relationship. And, you know, as a, as a companion, you could be someone that can support him, him or her to get them to the next level. So, you, but I think you also got to be conscious of, you know, are they really focused on what they want to do and is this something they want to make a career out of? Absolutely. Yeah, just got to ask more questions. And I, I, have, I, have, questions. I have a question for you. We're gonna, this is the last question. But it's coming from a different perspective. Your homegirl is in the group chat. She's upset. She's mad. Her man just broke up with her because she's been dating him for 90 days or less and he finds out that she went through his phone. Okay, so a lot of fellas have gone through this situation. How much of a red flag do you think it is for men on a scale of one to five that a woman goes through his phone? Have you went through a guy's phone before? Yeah, what do you mean? Why why did you go through his phone? 
what do you mean? Like, it just a. <laughs> what, what, what's the what's the truly what's the true reason why? True reason why you go through a phone. Quiet down, guys. Quiet down. All right, y'all. Y'all ready for this? So I'm married. Okay. Listen. So I and I have like I'm gonna be. This is a flaw. Insecurity. One main insecurity of women is trust. So even though men say like you know I'm here for you I'm 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 here for you we we gotta double check. So <laughs> if I'm seeing signs that are different through your phone, um, then obviously what you're saying, <laughs> obviously what you're saying is not true. So and I'm one of those things that behavior or how you act you you need to reflect that or what you say it needs okay. to be reflected. So if it's not reflected, I'm going. That's that's energy for me to check mm -hmm. your phone. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I go, need to see what's going on. You go through my phone. If, if you go through my phone, that's a red flag. Yeah, that's a red flag on the. If you, if you, Whoa. It's not about. Okay. It's not about. It's not about hiding anything. Don't don't talk to me about building trust if you can't yeah. start with trust. <laughs> we we're not building Yo, shit if you're not can't, you not can't can't tell me. Listen. Ask them this. Ask them Hold this on. Quiet time. down. Quiet down. <laughs> Quiet down, quiet down, quiet down. I will, I will never touch your phone. So listen, nope. listen. quiet down. If if you if I'm telling you like I'm here for you, I'm here for you, but you see me out giving everybody else attention, like is that nothing? Like you trying to confirm like what the hell this is? Like you so not gonna go through my why phone not? and see? So is if 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 we're building trust, why not just ask him and have a structured, Maybe. intentional conversation? I mean, we ask. Communication is key, definitely. We want to trust what men say, definitely. But some things y'all just say is completely opposite of what men do. Okay. So it's, we need proof. And you don't want to ask other people, like you want to keep it in the relationship. If I need proof, then yeah. So you go through his phone, you and find trust nothing. Trust me, my husband know, Frankie, I love you today. He know, um, I'm going to ask, I'm going through, let me, what's, what's up, let me see. But this is before we were married. But okay, all right. Now, listen, um, my phone. Since, since, since we got you here, you're a married woman. Yeah. Um, Sharing passwords with your spouse to your phones, right? How do you feel about that particular Sharing thing? Sharing passwords? Passwords. He, your, your husband has the password to your phone. You have the password to his phone. Oh, he got my. He got his face. You know, we open each other passwords or whatever. But that was my insecurity. Something that he worked for me because I've been in relationships. Because he loved you. In the past, Shout out to the fellas, the man. Shout out to Frankie, man. Shout out to Frankie, man. Good job, man. Good job. Good job. Good job. Okay, husband of the year. Husband of the year. He made it work for me. He made Good. it work for us. And now I I don't have to do that anymore. Absolutely. Like that was a true insecurity. See, I love that. We're we going we gonna to end on a good note. We're going to get in on a good note. We, thank you all. Thank you, Miss Taylor. Thank you all for tuning in to Black Fly on the Wall. All right. Thank first you for ever out live with us. show. The first, first ever live show. The first. Hey, look, listen up. Listen up. Listen up, listen up. This message right here is for everybody that wants to do something. Hey, quiet down. Yo, yo. Quiet down. This message right here for everybody that wants to do something. This event right here started with an idea. It came together with my team. We, we, we locked in, right? We, came, we, we gained unified consciousness on what we wanted to do, and here we are, right? So this is a clear example of a manifestation into reality from taking something out of your mind having fears, having anxieties, not knowing if it's going to work, are people going to pull up, are people going to buy tickets. Whatever you want to do, just do it. Sometimes we, over, sometimes we overthink things and we overcomplicate things. Hey, this message right here is a PSA for anybody that has something on their mind that they want to do. Go do it and go kill it. We're closing out. Thank you for the couple. Of, hey, come on, Deron. Let's, let's rock out, baby. Spread love. Put me in the times, I'm in prime mode. Head of my time, anytime, every time zone. The God flow, I'm in God mode. Blessings hitting me with combos. I ball, cello, mellow, Lonzo. Time is money, no money, no combo. Manifesting my dream pronto. They couldn't detonate me, they let a bomb blow.